that hose is cut to a bevel and you use your thumb to make it however you want. You can go from that. I should fertilize a little bit more. Rex, stay over here. Come over here, babe. Come over here, Rex. Sorry if I missed the comments for the ladies and germs that are here. We're just watering or whatever. We're just like watering or whatever. So if you have a problem with that, you can like leave or whatever. I watered these yesterday, so I bet you they don't really need it. Too bad. But I still want to water them. This tree in particular. I'd like to get some fruit off of it. The palm tree, the pretty much the only palm tree I have here that I planted for fruit. And it is a um, Bactris setosa. Too soon. I used to have some other palm trees. Cyagris, whatever. Megacarpa or something like that. Really hard to grow, I killed them. I paid a lot for the seeds too. And I thought they would do well here. What's up? Mackum Tom, what up, 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 the person that talks like that? Who's the person that talks like that? Uh, um, I don't even like know what you're talking about or whatever, but if you keep talking, if you keep asking that question, I'm like not even gonna answer or whatever. Sorry, it's, a, it's something I go into. It's a something I, it's a phase I've been going through, but it won't last forever. I don't think it's any person in particular. I'm just trying to be like an obstinate young lady. And you guys are like my dad. And you're not going to tell me nothing. That's who it is. We want the Michael Jackson phase. Yeah. That was a fun phase. We go through phases over here. From now on, I'm saying hey, sis, on every stream. <laughs> See, me and my friends started joking around talking like that. And I don't know, it just stuck somehow. But it's been like, it's been like only about two weeks now I've been talking like that. And it's not all the time, it's just sometimes, or whatever. I don't know. Sometimes I think it feels good to like regress mentally for a minute. Take yourself down a notch. Don't try to use big words and just sound stupid. So you got to do it with some class, you know? It's got to be done just right. But I like to dumb it down. There's some Patanga tubas that the squirrels haven't found yet first crop they've had on that tree. Here's that special patanga. This is a really interesting tree. I'm, I'm real proud of it. I'm real proud of it. I took the cage off of it because it's no longer fruiting. We got about four or five fruit off of it. Dumb it down, sis. I'm trying. But yeah, look at the leaf on that. That's a big old leaf. And look how it overlaps. It has that overlap feature at the base, which is which is a distinguishing feature. Save it for the slumber party. Heck yeah. I yeah, it's like my clueless. I'm trying to be like the girls from Clueless. Yeah, you see how that, that leaf has that overlap.
Oh, look, there's some dieback or whatever. I wonder what caused this over here. It's only on that one branch. Everything else looks fine. It's probably just some kind of fungus among us. That sounds good, Jordan. That sounds real good. <clears throat> Put me on the list. You know what? I think my hose doesn't go any further. I took the net off of my cherries. And there, and there it is, the net. So we're going to walk it back. Hey, this cherry tree over here, they've been leaving alone. And it hasn't got a lot of water. But dang, it was really drought stricken one year. And uh, it's got fruit on it this time. The fruit is small because it's so hot. But it did pretty well for being out in the full sun. The elements. This is a grafted Ben's Butte tree. Go ahead and water that guy in. Tons of pitangas out here. A lot of pitanga fruit. I got to pick up seeds today. Ravaged by burns, yeah. I would imagine that red color. They would tear that red up. Yep. Now, I notice the red fruits don't get eaten as much out here because they're waiting for them to turn purple. So if it's red, you got a chance. Oh, this is that little dwarf pitanga species. Eugenia pitanga. It's got a couple fruit on it, three. I'll go down there and look at it in a second. It's a little diminutive shrub. <clears throat> Probably better to leave the weeds there so nothing sees the fruit. Fruit tastes like a Suriname cherry. That's disgusting. But it's a beautiful little tree. And they fruit in a pot. <clears throat> the variety I have is just disgusting. But I still do like it. Like, I won't take it out. I still grow one, like, in the corner just to look at, you know. It's edible. It's not going to poison you. So why not grow one? Oh, there. There's a beautiful butterfly on them flowers. It moved away. Fritillary. A gold. There's like poor service or whatever. Sorry about that disruption. There's about a 10 second delay between what I say and what you respond. See, if I say comment, Comment now. Do it now. Comment now. Do it now. I'll tell you when I see the comment. You know, if you write now, write it now. Yeah, that was like a 20-second delay. We'll do another test run because there is a delay. We're going to have to test it one more time. And on the count of three, I'm going to say, yeah, I just got the first now. I just got the first now so right now. But now if you try it again, let's see how long the delay is. On the count of three, I'm going to say you know, type one, and then that way I know what the delay is. All right, on count three. One, two, three. Type one, if you may, please. Type one, please, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, got it. Six seconds, six second delay. All right, thank you. There's about a six second delay. I'm getting some ones now from Jordan. I got a one. <laughs> These are the ones I pulled out of the greenhouse the other day and they're looking real good. That's that watermelon jabbity cobber right there. Nice tall one, about three foot. I took off some branches of this one too. So it should be even taller. It's getting big enough to where I think next, next season I'll be able to offer some of them grafted, I think. We'll see. Yeah, that's the, the watermelon right there. Good morning, Florida. Good morning to you as well. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for joining us today. 
trying to make it so the stream doesn't come apart. We're having very low stream quality. I'm just watering the fruit trees, trying to read the comments and keep up with any comments. Ah, I'm pulling on this hose. These are the, um, this needs to come out over here. I don't, Good afternoon, is that Tyler? I can almost read that, it looked like Tyler, hey. Shut your mouth! Eugenia Solcata. I had a lot of trouble with these. I don't know if I was keeping them too wet, if I didn't fertilize them enough. They're alive and they sit there and they just don't grow. They grow real slow for me. I had more than this and some of them died. And then this is what I'm left with. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 or so. And I wanted to grow them to have the fruit and the seeds to sell. And I haven't got them to fruit yet. I thought they fruited in three years, but they're, they're probably four years, almost three and a half, three years by now almost. So maybe they'll flower next year. Supposed to be a good fruit. That's like somewhere between a grumachama and uh I don't know. It looks almost like a grumachama kind of, but it's supposed to be, it looks like a pitanga and a grumachama kind of, but it doesn't have any of the resin flavor. So I, anything like that I'm interested in. If, it, if, it, if it's a small Eugenia that doesn't have any of the resin flavor. I like little berries that you can go out and taste. It don't have to have a lot of flesh as long as it's a little berry and the tree doesn't grow too fast. Those are my type of trees right there. There's that cuspidata. I think that's what this is. Myrcearia cuspidata. We repotted that yesterday. Chickens are in the line of fire. You know what I think this is right here? This tree? I pulled it aside because it looks, you know, special. This tree over here, this one we're looking at. I believe it could be. Now, this is just a theory. I don't know for sure. I'm guessing it might be a hybrid of the Sabara and the Otto Anderson. Because it just don't, it just don't look right. It's got this, this habit to it. It looks a lot like the Sabara. I pulled a branch off and split. It broke. But it, it just, it just doesn't look right. You know, it looks somewhere in between. So I'm, I'm excited about that being a possible hybrid. We'll see, you know, it's gonna take me years to figure it out. But I, I'm, I'm quite certain we've got some hybrids. And yeah, we'll see. It looks somewhere in between, I tell you. It has to do with the bark and the new growth and the growth habit. It's just unlike the others I've seen. If you don't see lizards running for higher ground, you ain't watering right. You better see lizards running for their life like a flood. A great flood. So I'm really hoping this one is a hybrid right here, but there's no telling. I'm hoping this is a hybrid of the Grimmel and the um, Otto Anderson. Look at those leaves. But I'm smelling the foliage again, and I'm like, I can't smell much of difference between it and the parent tree. So who knows? These are all things where they just take a long time to, to sort out. And it really has a lot to do with how the bark looks. You know, the bark is going to be looking different, the way it peels. Of course, the leaf. Leaves can look different, but bark is, is a more of a stronger, deeply rooted trait that does not 
you know, the bark color and the way it peels is not going to change when you have a, you know, a seedling variety. Like say you plant a bunch of reds or a bunch of phytranthas, you might get a bunch of different leaf shapes on the phytranthas and maybe some different, a little bit different leaf shape on the red, but the bark is always going to peel the same and look the same pretty much. Now, if you start getting some bark that looks different, now we're now you're talking. Now you're talking some money. Now you need to let me see what you got there. I'll tell you if I think it's worth anything. Then you send it to my laboratory and we look it over. I think I am gonna start to sell some of these possible hybrid um Jabuticabas from John Kimber. I got some Grimmel and uh Sabra possible hybrids that I'm gonna I'm gonna list them soon here. I'm gonna do it like buy it now. I don't want people bidding on them. I'm gonna have a limited amount. I don't know. I might have 50 of them at most to sell total. They're gonna you're gonna have to buy them two at a time. I think I'm gonna do some weird shit, some creepy weird shit where like you gotta buy two at a time. It comes with free shipping, and it's like I don't know what the price is yet, but I I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm just trying not to be greedy, but I, I do want to get rid of some. I have I have a few too many, and I can't sort them all out. It's gonna piss me off when someone's like, "Yeah, that that possible hybrid you sold me, it it flowered in two years, and the fruit are the size of softballs." Just just let me know if you want a scion, and and we can trade some. Be like, "Fuck, shouldn't have sold that." That's what's gonna happen. That's why. But you get greedy and you kill them all. And that's where we're at. So I gotta, I gotta have to pick the prettiest ones and pretend like I know, and then sell the ones that you know. I don't know. I got too many. So it's a, it's a crapshoot. I can't hold on to all of them. I know. I want there to be some language. I want there to be some language in like the eBay auction to where it's like, all right, you can buy these now, but if they happen to turn out to be anything special, you have to give me back my sign. I need cuttings of that. But you can't. I, don't, I can't pull that. It's just a crapshoot. And I, like I said, what are you going to do when one year, say you had a really good cross-pollination between a Grimmel and a Sabra, and you got 200 unique-looking seedlings that come out of the Sabra. You're going to grow them all out? I mean, I'd like to grow them all out, but I've already got 20 other seedlings I'm, I'm, I'm growing out to see what they are. And now I've got 200 all at once. That's not going to work out. You're going to end up killing some of those seedlings like or whatever and like i'm just trying to keep my money rolling so i, I don't want to you got to always keep the money rolling so that was a perfect time to hit y'all with a like or whatever These cherries. This one actually tastes good. It's a good tasting one. Funky looking tree too. Real small. Big leaf on it. Eugenia Calicina. And I do like the way this one tastes. I really do. We're in the thick of it. I got to walk over to that greenhouse and turn on those fans. The greenhouse is getting real hot right now. The temperature is probably 90 degrees in there. They don't like that. They don't like that. It stunts the growth, I think. It definitely does stunt the growth if you have it too hot. It'll, like, make the leaves look pale or bleached out sometimes, you know? They won't be as green as they should be. Your growth will be stunted. Sometimes that's what happens. And the leaf can be very, very small. It'll make you have tiny, tiny leaf. But as soon as you get the conditions right, the tree comes and starts growing fine. So let's, let's get over there. What I need to do is have, so have a day where I let people come here. And then I'll have like, it's like a garage sale. With like, these are the 25 cent seedlings. These are the dollar seedlings. 
but I've got so many seedlings that I just need to sell for like a dollar, three dollars. It's going to be a one to three dollar deal, and you got to buy like ten dollars worth or something. But there's some stuff I just would like to, I don't want to give it away, but I've got more than I can, you know, some of these, what are they? You know, like stupid shit. I'm thinking about having a garage sale, y'all. Do it, I'm down. <laughs> what happens is the next time someone comes to pick up plants, if you want a bunch of really cheap seedlings to start your nursery off, well, I'll get you, man. I'll, we'll, we'll get you covered. We'll do you a deal. I got plants, plenty of plants. A lot of them could be used as rootstock. Like the Calicinas, you could be grafting, I guess, the Cherry of the Rio and other calicinas onto it. Um, and then like the Suriname cherries. I need some of the Surinams myself. I have an excess of lemon drop mangosteen seedlings, which are a good rootstock for several Garcinias. I've got a, a glut of those right now. So we'll see. I gotta move these big loquats out. Looks like we could get another crop on the loquats this year, possibly. And then there's that um, Mircearia glomerata looking real good since I got it out of the greenhouse. The one I planted in the ground is doing good. Let's throw this hose down and take a look. Sorry about that. I just connected to my Wi-Fi, so we'll probably have better connectivity now. But yeah, it looks really good in the pot, Mircearia glomerata. I planted one in the ground right over here too. The reason I put it in the ground, because it's in the shade, and it's got a draft from my house. Cold air comes out from the house and keeps it nice and cool. The one on the ground looks really good, but it's much more sparse. You see what I'm saying? It's like lanky. It's going to get real tall, and it's co it's covered by the kombucha kind of. But, yeah, it does pretty well down here. Bark looks good on it. Nice, cool colored bark. Deep red. I might even cut this kombucha back off of it eventually to give it some more light. I'm tempted to do that, like cut that lower branch off that kombucha and it'll open it up. But I was giving it a lot of uh, protection from the light. You can see that's the um, glomerata. I'm trying to see what it looks like without it being covered by the kombucha. But I planted them close because you can do that. And this is how you gauge his health. How's that new growth looking? And the new growth looks good. It needs some fertilizer though. I think I'm gonna throw some fertilizer down here. It could use a little bit. Oh, look, something broke my branch. Snapped the branch on it. It's still got turger pressure or whatever. It's still hanging on. Graph that giant kombucha branch. It's a side branch. Who knows? I'm probably not gonna cut it off. I'll just leave it. This is the other one, and it's got flowers coming. It hasn't fruited yet, or I don't notice it if it has, because the fruit hide really well. I would think it's getting close. Let's see if we can find a flower. I saw some open the other day. <clears throat> this is the kind of tree where when you go looking for the fruit, you knock off the fruit. I see flowers coming, but not a lot of them open. Flowers that came. Anyway, it's kind of hanging down. Miracle fruit tree. I just fertilized the hell out of this. It hasn't fruited in a while. So I'm hoping it, it gives me a crop. I could use some miracle fruit to, to eat. Don't see a lot of bloom on it. Forgot about that hose. All right. I think it leaves on this one again. The, the um, giant or whatever, the Plinia Fetrantha. The leaves are huge, looking good. I got it in the shade, some huge ass leaves on it. 
like a salmon fillet. Good size of that's record style right there, homie. That's well record, man. You don't have bigger than mine. Let me pull that thing out, man. Look that, man. <laughs> anyway. I had to take it there. Sorry, Mac Tom. It was like a bad taste, not a tasteful joke or whatever. Cooled it down out here. We wet them down, cooled it down. I think the plants are very pleased. I might walk over to the greenhouse, open that up, check on the chickens. It's another day in a life of crime. It's okay. He likes it when we change the accent. Yeah, it's voice work. It's voice work. I'm trying to get a job in voice acting, and this is my big break. You know, another little trick I do is I, um, you put a pole wherever you got to drag your hose, put a stake in the ground, one of these metal stakes. That way you don't have to drag it against the tree, but you get all your points. You got to have your areas where you got your stake and then that gives you your drag points. And I got several drag points out here where I put down a stake where I can drag that hose and it doesn't knock over my pots or drag or anything on the on the on the bark i'm going to switch over to my um the other connection and it may it may the feed may degrade i'm just walking over to the greenhouse bear with me if it breaks if it breaks down i'm i'm, I'm gonna just let this stream go to hell in a handbasket but if not we're still so i just switched over so hopefully the feed quality doesn't go downhill we're out here by the patanga tubas i'm giving you some solid narration very hot out today dry i should probably water these squirrels like to eat the the seed out of the green fruit and they cost me a lot of money these are flowering real well they looked like all hail during the winter oh this one loses its leaves every season and you think it's dead but it comes back this is the elongated one right here okay this is your elongated one and it fruits really well I should probably graft from this because I don't want to lose the tree. But yeah, it sure does lose all its leaves and it comes right back. So don't, don't think that's dead. I'm going to fertilize that more, water it. Yeah, Patanga tubers are waiting on that spring rain and we haven't got it. So this is where we're at in the, in, in the world today. If you're living in the world today. Dun, 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 dun. Remember that <coughs> Wu-Tang song? If you live in, so how's it go? The world today. You can listen to the flat that the Wu Tang say. We don't have them. Dun, dun, dun. I gotta turn these fans on. I got some of these Garcinias from Jim West. And apparently they're very sensitive to the cold because they died back. If they recover, I'll probably sell them. But I've got these that are just died back. Some that didn't. That one died back. It's sensitive to cold. It doesn't like being here. Nice. Grafted Spirito looking good. This one's almost ready to sell. This one's looking gangsta with a push and then a, a follow-up push. Some nice grafted Spirito Santensis on deck. 
So that's looking good. That's exciting stuff. Here's the graphs from the uh, the grafting party video. I see a little action on there. May or may not take. It was a little late in the game. Some anomaly graphs looking real good. These could be ready to sell about a week or two. I'm, I'm debating whether just to grow them out a little bit. Some more of these burritos looking real good. Even though it's super hot in here, they're hanging on. Some Schatzers hybrids don't have a lot of lose, but there's some Schatzers hybrids coming out real nice. Got about four of them that might take real nice red Jabuticabas. I did a lot of reds and I did them so that they would fruit real quick. So I'd like to have some trees with some flowers on them to sell. I think I'm gonna turn this water on just like keep moving, dude. And then I'll come turn it off because you don't want to let it run too long. It'll get moody. We're gonna pull out some trees today. We're gonna pull out some of these stupid ass trees that don't need to be in here. A lot of this is gonna get pulled out. And I don't know if I'm gonna grow it. I might just pull it out here out front of the greenhouse again. Sometimes I grow some of the trees out front. You know, if they can take the heat, I'll just put them out front. Stupid stuff like the Muntingias, things like that. So, That's that red mulberry. Beautiful leaves on this Morris rubra. There was fruit, oh, look, there's a fruit. Oh, damn it. So that's about as big as the fruit's getting for me this year. Let's see if it tastes good. It wasn't ready. It fallen off early, I guess. Wasn't bad though. Oh, I see another one. I remember when I saw this tree, it had a much bigger fruit. So I don't know why it's so small. Yuck. I shouldn't have eaten that. There's that one I just grafted, your Himalayan, Himalayan red. I, I never seen it make a leaf that big. Look at that. But pretty. Guess it's because it's in the shade. Looks real good. Double graft. Oh, why well, I can't see nothing. Yeah, like the right by a ditch there too, so that'll get flooded. Ooh, hot. I need to set up overhead irrigation out here. One of them sprinkler heads and a, and a hose. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Cause that's about the only way I'm gonna water this. You know, I gotta buy a, a hose and then I have to buy a, you know, I don't even need a hose. I just need another sprinkler head. Or I could take this one over here and walk it all the way over there. There's old scumbag Rex. It's the time of year where he don't have no hair on his ass. Yeah, that way I don't have to water by hand, but I'll go out there and hand water. And it just, when you water overhead like that, it, cool, it cools down the whole area too. It's like a simulating rain rather than just soaking the roots. It's that white Jabuticaba grafted. I noticed the grafted ones have less problem with like the leaf tip burn. And my ones that are seedlings have the leaf tip burn real bad. So, you know, I could show you my, my seedling the leaves don't look as good on the seedling. So the grafting onto Sabra rootstock does wonders for some of these trees. And the white Jabuticaba is not exceptionally hard to grow, but I noticed a lot more burnt leaf tips on the one that is seedling. It looks pretty, right? You grow that just for the leaves alone. I would say, I keep forgetting how pretty that old tree is. It takes the cold too. I thought because it had these big leaves that it wouldn't take the cold and it does take the cold. Uh, peeling down there. I imagine it'll have a good crop this year. Rats love to eat it. That's your um, 
Achacha rue. I just fertilized it real heavy, hoping to get some flowers eventually. It's been like 12 years. Cambuca grafted from Larry Shatter flowers, but hasn't fruited yet. I think this could be the year if it will flower. I don't see any flowers on it yet, but I do see a lot of new growth starting to push out. I've actually got one of these grafted onto Sabra that I'm going to try to sell later this year. It just has to grow out a little bit. We'll go take a look at these uh, cherries. It's, uh, look at all the um, Calicina fruit. Nothing's eating it. Makes you wonder why. Why don't this? Why don't the birds destroy this one? Why, why don't they eat every last one of these? You know what I mean. This is the. Um, this is a real good. Uh, well, hold on here. It's getting down to the last of the fruit on this tree, and they were kind of small this year on the Ben's Butte. But now this tree has been a stud. This one here. Let's pick some of these fruits here. And there's just been so many that the birds gave up. The birds then gave up. Look at that. They're big fruit this year too. I like it. Didn't make fruit this big last year. This is a seedling from Charles Novak. It's, it's real sweet. It's got like a red colored flesh. Mm-hmm. Mm. That one tastes like, like grape candy, man. It was real good. Mm. <laughs> They're off the chain today. It tastes like a grape slushy. She heard me enjoying my food. This is where I found that Florida brown snake yesterday. Yeah, buddy, these are tasting like grape today. Here, that one's been pecked, freak. Saving the seeds, eh? You just gonna peck at it? She got one. You just want to pack them all. Come here. He's moving pretty good for having them long ass spurs. I got a couple of fruit off of this the other day. By the time I take these eggs out. This bitch keeps coming up on my, my porch. Get out. Get out. Out. Some kind of situation I need to diffuse. I hear her yelling.
Schatzer's hybrids making a lot of flowers again. This tree's pretty exciting. Reason being, think about how long you're gonna have to wait to get a hybrid between the trunk of flora and the red. Trunk of flora takes 15 years to fruit. I can't even hear myself talk. So, come on, Rex. Come on, Rex. Oh, shit. I got to walk around the house anyway. I keep locking myself out the front. Bunch of seeds I collected that I got to clean. Probably 500 seeds there. I just fertilized that grimmel real heavy. Hopefully it doesn't hurt it. What up, Tony? You used to let me hold you. They cleaned up some of that fallen food there. Not so pretty the day after, or the two days after. I like that one. No. We gotta clean up in here. York peppermint patty. So, did we work today or what? You ready for the next stream? We'll try to come up with something real adventurous and fun. Thank you for watching. eBay auctions tonight ending. Some eBay auctions ending tonight. Let's check that out if you may. Type in grafted anomaly into eBay. You'll see. You'll see everything about it.